the show. And then he burps and you put him on camera. <laughs> Good boy. He's wondering where that music kiss comes from. He usually bends his head way back. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Dear friends, we are gathered here to baptize this child into the Christian faith. Because our Savior Jesus Christ has commanded us, saying, Go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit teaching them to observe all things I command of you. Inasmuch as the promise of the gospel is not only to us, but also to our children, let us call upon God through Jesus Christ, that bounteous mercy may be granted unto Cole Curtis, through baptism with water and the Holy Spirit, receive him into Christ's holy church, and make him a living member of the Christian community. The commitment of the parents and sponsors. Do you promise to be good and loving parents and sponsors to Cole Curtis? If so, answer yes, we do. Do you promise to remain faithful to Cole Curtis, whatever the future may be, and to respect him as a separate person wherever he may go and remember all of us? That your child is born of God is so answer. Yes, we do. Do you promise to instruct Cole Curtis in the Christian faith and life, as contained in the scriptures and the great interpreters of faith, to pray with him and for him and to bring him up in the nurture and guidance of God. And so answer. Yes. Jesus said, Let the little children come to me. And do not stop them. For it is to such as these that the kingdom of heaven belongs. Will you seek to allow Jesus to be a part of cold Curtis' life so that as he grows in years, God may ever enrich and bless his life. If so, answer, yes, we do. At this time, I would ask the congregation to please stand as we say together. <laughs> do you who represent the church ecumenical recognize that the whole church shares a responsibility in the nurture and the guidance of this child baptized here today? And do you therefore promise to share responsibility in the work of leading all children placed within the care of your congregation to a full and mature acceptance of Jesus Christ? If so, answer, yes we do. Yes we do. We'll confess our faith together with the words that are printed for you. We are not alone. We live in God's world. We believe in God, who has created and is created, who has come in Jesus the word and made my life. To reconcile and make you, who works in us and others by the Spirit. We trust in God. We are called to be the church, to celebrate in God's presence, to love and serve others, to seek justice and resist the evil, to proclaim Jesus crucified and risen, our judge and our Lord, in life and in death, in life beyond death. God is with us. We are not alone. Thanks be to God. Congregation may be seated. I lay on you, cold, curse, heavy, in the name of Jesus Christ. I anoint you with the Spirit, and I sign you with the sign of the cross, so that you may be filled with the power and the disposition that was in Jesus, the child of God, today and forever.
present to you your newest baptized member, Paul Curtis Hippie. Doesn't seem to be too disagreeable with me walking <laughs> up and down the aisle here. <laughs> Receive this child, embrace him with love, and keep these words in your heart, your family life, prepare you and him for the life of the community of care. We have a couple of things that we want to present to you this morning. Uh, first, the baptismal certificate. Give that to Dad. And there's a couple of sponsor certificates. Troy. Michael. And there's a place on here for you three fellows to sign. Where he knows who is sponsoring them today. Also, we have a, a candle, which is a, a replica of the Christ candle. The Christ candle in our church uh, is representative of the light of Christ that shines in us. And we light this candle on, on the occasion of a baptism to symbolize the light of Christ that we believe and have faith that is in Cole's life. So we'll light that. We'll give it to Dad a hold here for a moment. And there are words of scripture that say, let your light so shine before others that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. You might want to blow that out before you get waxed. Okay, that candle can be used uh, as, a, as a reminder of the baptism. Uh, you can use it on an anniversary, in other words, a year from now. If you were so inclined, it would be a neat thing to do. Pull that candle out and just light it. And uh, have a little family celebration. You can have these three guys here, too. They probably would like a good meal. <laughs> they would come even if you didn't have a meal. But, uh, they would probably come for a meal as well. Any time for that matter. But it might be a neat thing to do to remember the baptism and uh, have a few prayers uh, to keep this portion of the of the baptism of the in your life that you were like in your life with him. Also, we have a cross that is presented to you from uh, the Aid Association of the Lutherans that uh, is for you to use as you wish in this room or whatever. Let it be with reverence, O oh God, that we undertake the task which has been committed to our charge. Help us ever to look to you for the patience and discernment we shall need to fulfill the obligation which our hearts acknowledge. Help us to make the needful preparation for our task by cleansing our own hearts and by reviving our loyalty to all that is fair and generous and true. You know the depth of our love for this little one. Grant that our love may be enlightened by spiritual insight and empathy, that this gift of yours may suffer no harm in our hands, that for this purity we may add wisdom, to this innocence strength to do the good, and as we consecrate this child to the service of humankind, for all whom his life shall touch, we ask God for his fulfillment of a life strong in beauty and radiant. Thank mm -hmm. you. 